ಪ್ರೇಸ್ವರ್ಗಿ Baba is also telling us that why we become confused and we and how by constantly considering Baba's hand with us we can become powerful. So let's start with today's Murli. The date of Murli is 31st May 1972. title of the murli is pursuing effort to become the ashta devta and favor it devotion in the future do you constantly perform every action whilst considering yourself to be a shiv shakti does your image adorn with the ornaments and the image with eight arms constantly remain in front of you to be one with eight arms means to have eight powers so do you constantly and clearly see your form of the embodiment of eight powers in front of you it is remembered of the shaktis the shaktis that are absorbed in shiv baba so do you constantly stay in shiv baba's remembrance shiv and the shaktis are praised together the soul and the body are together whilst the soul is playing its part through the body in this world they cannot be separated in the same way shiv and the shaktis also have such a deep connection this is why there is the praise of being shiv shaktis so do you constantly experience the company or is there simply the praise there should be such constant company that no one can ever separate this company no one can ever break this relationship whilst having this experience constantly move along whilst being the embodiment of all powers most in shiva and then maya will never cause any obstacles in your love for baba it is said to two together are equal to 10 so when shiv and the shaktis are both together can anyone do anything to such shaktis no other shakti can attack you or defeat you when you are in the form of double shakti no other shakti can attack you or defeat you when you are in the form of double shakti if you are being defeated or attacked by maya then are you stabilized in the form of a shiv shakti are you stabilized in your form of the eight powers the complete and perfect form if even one power out of the eight powers is lacking can you be praised in the way that the eight arm shaktis have been praised constantly check yourself to see 
whether you are moving along as a Shiv Shakti with the eight powers. Those who have constantly adopted the eight powers can come within the eight special deeds. Those who have constantly adopted the eight powers can come within the eight special deities. If you experience any one power lacking in yourself, then it is difficult to come within the eight deities. The eight deities are praised and worshipped by the entire world as the special deities. So, if you want to become the special deities of the path of bhakti, or if you want to become one of the eight deities, you must continue to constantly imbibe the eight powers within yourself. Now you can become one of the eight deities. If you want to become one of the eight deities, you must continue to constantly imbibe the eight powers within yourself. By imbibing these powers, you will easily and automatically experience two things in yourself. What are those two things? By constantly considering yourself to be a Shiv Shakti, one with eight arms or eight powers, Firstly, you will constantly have the experience of companionship. And secondly, you will constantly experience your stage to be that of a detached observer. Firstly, you will constantly have the experience of companionship. And secondly, you will constantly experience your stage to be that of a detached observer. You will experience being both a companion and a detached observer. In other words, you could call this the stage of a detached observer or the point cloud. Or it is called the experience of companionship. That is, it is called the experience of the object stage. By imbibing the eight powers, you will constantly, easily and automatically experience these two powers. You will experience it in the same way as when you have the company of someone in a physical way. At that time, you will never experience yourself to be alone or weak. In the same way, when you have the awareness of the Almighty Authority, Shiva and the Shaktis, then whilst walking and moving around, you will experience it as though you are physically together in His company and His hand is in your hand. When you have the awareness of the Almighty authority, Shiv and Shaktis. Then, whilst walking and moving around, you will experience it as though you are physically together in his company and his hand is in your hand. It is said the company and the hand. So, the company is the constant love of the intellect. And the hand is the hand of Srimad, which you will constantly experience with you. When you have someone else hand on you, you become fearless and the form of Shakti and you become ready to perform any task, no matter how difficult it may be. In the same way, when you constantly experience the hand of Srimad on you, then you will never be afraid of any difficult situation or obstacles of Maya. 
with the help of the kind with courage you will find it easy to face any situation with the help of courage you will find it easy to face any situation to represent this what has been shown as an image of the bhagavats and the god if you look at the images of the shaktis you will see the hand of blessings over the bhagavats they show the hand on the head this means that if you constantly have the hand over the head that is if you have the hand of shrimad in your internet then because of having the hand and the company you are constantly victorious do you constantly experience the hand and the company in this way no matter how big a soul may be if his companion is the almighty authority that the big soul is automatically filled with power if the companion is almighty authority then the big soul is automatically filled with power no matter how fearsome a place may be if their companion is brave then even weak souls become brave then they will never be afraid of harm the reason for being afraid of maya or for not being able to face maya is that you do not experience the hand in the company baba is giving company but what can he do if those who have to take it do not take it when a father wishes to bring a child onto the right path he holds the hand of the child but if the child lets go of the father's hand and continues to follow his own dictates what will happen he will become confused in this way firstly you forget the company of the internet and you let go of the hand of shrimad i will become confused firstly we forget the company of the internet and then we let go of the hand of shrimad this is why you become confused and have to face problems and you become weak my eye is also very clever in order to attack you she will first of all make you leave the hand and the company and isolate you when you are isolated and weak maya attacks then this maya attacks when you are isolated and weak maya attacks generally when an enemy attacks people he will first of all isolate them from other company he will isolate them with one or another method and attack them maya also first makes you let go of the hand and the company and then she attacks you if you do not let go of the hand and the company then when you have the company of the almighty authority what can maya do you will become the conqueror of maya so do not ever let go of the hand and the company so constantly continue to move along as master almighty authorities on the path of bhakti also you call out hold my hand once so baba is holding your hand and wishes 
to move along with his hand in your hand. However, if even then you let go of his hand, then apart from Mandarin, what else would happen to you? So, you yourselves become the instruments to make yourself wander. A soldier would keep his weapons and all his equipment with himself before he goes on to the battlefield. In the same way, when you go to perform any action on the field of action, and when any soldier goes to battle on a battlefield, before you perform any action, do you keep all your weapons, that is, these eight powers, with you and then perform action? Or do you remember your equipment at the time when the enemy comes? What would happen then? So, Baba is asking us that. We are going on the battlefield with battlefield with all our weapons, or we remember our equipments and weapons at the time when the enemy comes. And if it's so, then what would happen then? You would be defeated. Constantly consider yourselves to be the soldiers who are performing karma on the field of action. That is, consider yourselves to be Maharathis. What we have to consider ourselves? Consider yourselves to be Maharathis. Those who are ready to oppose others on the battlefield will never let go of their weapons. Even when they go to sleep, they do not let go of their weapons. In the same way, do not forget your eight powers when you go to sleep. That is, you have to keep your weapons with you. It should not be that at the time when Maya attacks you, you sit down and try to think about what yukti you should adopt. Then time to go whilst you are just thinking about it. Therefore, you should constantly remain ever ready. If you are not constantly alert and ever ready, Maya will deceive you in one way or another. If you are not constantly alert and ever ready, Maya will deceive you in one way or another. And what will the result of this be? Seeing your own self, waves of sorrow emerge. Your weakness bring more weakness. If you do not have any weakness, then more weakness can never come. All of you call yourselves the emperors of the land that is free from sorrow, do you not? This is the stage of the present time when the world of sorrow is in front of you. You have the knowledge of sorrow and no sorrow at this time. Whilst this exists, you constantly decide in that stage. And this is why you are called the emperors of the land that is free from sorrow. Why you are called as emperors of the land that is free from sorrow? Because we have the knowledge of sorrow and no sorrow at this time. Although you are beggars, Whilst being beggars, you are the emperor's open that is free from sorrow. So, do you constantly stay in the intoxication of being the emperor's of the land 
that is free from sorrow. The emperors, that is the rulers, automatically have the power to rule the kingdom. But if they do not use that automatic power in the right way, if they become trapped in some wrong task, somewhere or another, then they lose the power to rule and their royal status. If the ruler becomes trapped in some wrong task, then they lose the power to rule and their royal status. In the same way, here also, you are the emperors of the land that is free from sorrow. And you have the attainment of all powers. However, if you come under the influence of bad company or under the influence of any physical organs and lose your powers, then the attainment and happiness that you have attained as the emperor of the land that is free from sorrow automatically disappears. When does the attainment disappears? Maybe come under the influence of bad company or under the influence of any physical organs. So we lose our powers and the attainment disappears. Just as those emperors become bankrupt in the same way here also, because of being subservient to Maya, you become bankrupt. This is why you say, what can I do? How will it happen? When will it happen? All these are the signs of being bankrupt and a king of attachment. You come under the influence of one or another physical organ and lose your powers. Do you understand? So, do not ever forget the awareness that you are the embodiment of eight powers and an emperor of the land that is free from sorrow. So we should always have this awareness that we are the embodiment of eight powers and we are the emperors to an emperor of the land that is free from sorrow. In bhakti also, you always fall down to constantly stay under his canopy of protection. So, why do we move away from the canopy of protection of his company and his hand? Nowadays, in the old world also, if someone has a good companion who has even a little position, then she has intoxication and happiness because she thinks that her backbone is powerful. This is why she has intoxication and remains happy. So, who is the backbone of all of you? Those who have the almighty authority as their backbone should have so much intoxication and happiness. Those who have the almighty authority as their backbone should have so much intoxication and happiness? Can your waves of happiness ever finish? Do the waves of the ocean ever finish? Waves do not emerge from rivers, but they continue to emerge from the ocean. So, you are the master oceans. Are you not? So, can the waves of godly intoxication and godly happiness ever finish? 
they only finish when the connection with the ocean is broken. That is, when you let go of the company and the hand. Then the waves of happiness merge again. If you constantly experience his company, you will also constantly be safe from performing sinful action. Because sinful actions are always performed when in isolation. When someone steals, lies or is under the influence of sinful actions, which is also called having thoughts or performing actions of impurity, he only performs them when he is alone. Now constantly experience yourself to be with the partner and you will not perform these actions. If someone is watching you, would you steal anything? If someone is listening to you, would you tell lies? So, if you are constantly performing any wasteful or simple action again and again, the reason for this is that you do not constantly keep the companion with you. That is, you are not experiencing the company. Why do you sometimes become unhappy whilst moving along? You only become unhappy when you are alone. You only become unhappy when you are alone. If you are in a gathering and you have attainment from the gathering, would you be unhappy? If the almighty authority is with you, if the seed is with you, then together with the seed, the tree is also with you. And so how there can you have a stage of unhappiness? If the seed is with you and together with the seed, the tree is also with you. If you are not alone, why would you be unhappy? Sometimes, because of being attacked by the obstacles of Maya, because of experiencing yourself to be weak, you reach the stage of experiencing distress. When you forget the company of the powerful one, you become weak. And because of being weak, you forget your own prestige and become distressed. What would be the reason for all the weaknesses and defects you experience? You let go of the support of the hand and the company you are receiving. So this is the reason for all the weaknesses and defects. Do you understand? You even say that it is only once throughout the whole kalpa that you receive such company. But even then, you let go of it. If someone gives his hand in order to try and save another and if that other one tries to draw, what would that be called? You yourselves are making your own selves experience distress. Is it that you enjoy this stage of distress even now? because you stayed in this stage for a long period of time? No. So why do you go on to that side again and again? Now, you have to move very fast. You have to intensify your stage. When you merge the essence into yourself, 
you will become the embodiment of the essence. When you merge the essence into your soul, you will become the embodiment of the essence. And you will have unlimited disinterest in the world that has no essence. At the time, to those who constantly keep the company and take the hand, to those who are the emperors of the land that is free from sorrow, Namaste. Let's stay in silence for the moments when we share the journeys. Shampoo. We can share our journeys. Om Shanti, sister. Om Shanti. What a coincidence. Festivally speaking, Navratri is going on, the Chaitra Navratri. And what a murli for us to remind us what is the real power. I remember my mother used to say, Navratri is the significance of women who are Shiv Shaktis in real life. And in those eight days, she, my mother used to make us invoke each of the goddess which represented every one of the day. I'm just talking about that. But what I was given to understand is Shiv Shakti is just a divine union of consciousness, Shiva, and energy, Shakti. So she is Ashtam Shakti Dari, the eight powers. But when Shiv Baba incarnated in this world, he created the Shiv Shakti in me. When Shiv Baba came down, he created each, each one of the souls as Shiv Shakti. Like as if my form is absorbed in Shiva, as Shiva says over here, he's the companion as well as the detached observer. He, uh, my hand is on the head as well as hand in hand. I have an arm of eight powers. I think this really uh, is a visualization picture for me of what I learned when I, in my childhood days and what now the Gyan and what Shiv Baba really infused in me the form of Shakti. I always like that, the Shakti, and I like that concept of it's time for me to stand up as Shiv Shakti, Om Shakti. Wonderful sister. Om Shanti sister, good morning everyone. Baba so simply and very well explained what are the reasons yeah. for, for unhappiness that is sorrow and defeat. Baba explains this as one who lets go of Srimad and the hand of father, or sometimes is not in company of the eight powers, tend to be isolated, and that's when Maya attacks. 
so this was a wonderful explanation why people tend to feel sorrow or sadness in their lives so this is a checking point and checking message that does this happen or how how or why does this happen or when does it happen so a better thing is that to always have the company of father with us to feel the companionship and keep experiencing happiness as we walk thank you om shanti Thank you, Om Shanti, that's a wonderful Murli. Uh, this uh, the particular point I would like to share is uh, why we often become confused. Baba has given the reasons for that and the checking points as to uh, why are we why we at times become confused. The reason is basically we uh, let go of uh, Baba's hand and companionship. Hat or sat, and uh, we need to check uh, because uh, we should always hold Baba's hand uh, in the intellect uh, and of the Shrimat. Uh, then we will always have a clean, cl cl clean and clear intellect and uh, the clarity of our thoughts, words, and actions. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, one more point I would like to share is about the soldiers, uh, how a soldier uh, will always keep his weapons ready, uh, serviceable and always uh, in his company, even during sleep also, will always be alert. Soldiers are always alert and ever ready. Uh, enemy attack can happen anytime, 24 by 7. So, uh, on the battlefield. So, but well, gives this example because we are uh, spiritual warriors and uh, this is a battlefield where Maya is constantly attacking us. Uh, you know, it can attack. Maya also prepares. It's, uh, she's very clever. She prepares her strategies to attack when uh, first isolates us and then attacks. So if we have our weapons ready, yeah, uh, then we can always uh, give it back and uh, become victorious. Om Shanti. Wonderful, brother. Om Shanti. Uh, just to add to what brother said is, as a soldier, you said, and you know how Baba told us, I not in this mudli earlier, Baba said, how do I really face Maya? So what is my form? One, I'm totally absorbed in Shiv Shakti. Like just yesterday, we were given the homework to see that we always keep the almighty authority in front of me. That was a practice which was given to us yesterday. So now in that way, I have the light of Shiva, the sun in front of me. I go on a line. That's the form which Baba had given. And I'm on the battlefield. How can any Maya attack me and see my, for some it may be fearsome, a fearsome form, but I am an incarnation of beauty. I'm an incarnation of power. So that form, if I take on a battlefield, like a soldier goes prepared, I think that deep connection will not allow Maya to come. Like yesterday's blessing also Baba said, how to bid farewell to Maya. So this is also one of the form if I take and I face the part of face if I have by taking the form of a Shiv Shakti on a lion. Wonderful sister. Om Shanti, another thing is uh, the aspect is never feel weak. Because weakness uh, brings more weakness. The, so one should never uh, allow oneself to be ever in the weak stage. Always do the checking and changing. Always maintain that power. Power has to be at the rated power, like an engine. Uh, power, the fuel should always be there and uh, the engine should always be in the full power. Because uh, power... 
uh, in powerful stage maya can never attack maya can not dare to attack so uh, i think the responsibility of the soul is to always feel powerful in the with the companion with the companionship of baba and uh, his hand in our hand om shanti In chat, there is there are some sharings. Sister Deja has wished everyone happy Navratri. A divine union of consciousness and energy, my form absorbed in Shiva. Deep connection, hand hand over head, hand in hand. Radhavani sister has shared, be the embodiment of the essence. B.K. Rafi has shared, Shiv Shakti Swaroop is an experienced Baba as companion and be a detached observer. So Radhavani sister has again shared that together with the seed is happiness, Baba is our backbone. And because of subservient of Maya, we become bankrupt. So as Baba said that when a thing or a person with all rights comes under the influence of bad company, he loses all its attainment. So in the same way, when we come under the influence of bad company, then we lose our attainment. All our attainment disappears. Okay. Anyone else? Sister, to just what Veda added, why does sorrow come? Like, why, see, uh, who am I and why does sorrow come? For that also, Baba has given. And I don't know, I have never absorbed this title totally, but I used to love the, that slogan which Baba gave. Begum purke befikar bacha. I know it's a very deep title, like so many of these slogans and all, they are filled with power. But really, do I think myself, I'm from the land of, which is free from sorrow. I am a emperor. He doesn't call you just a king. He calls you Bacha, an emperor. So that intoxication is given. And why Baba is infusing that Shakti today? If you see the title, it is Ashta and Ishta. If now you take that Ashta form, tomorrow you will become a Ishta Deva. Of or in the future. So a memorial. So even this looking at my future. So I was just, I'm not, I've still not absorbed that Begum Purke Befikar Pacha, even though it's a lovely slogan, because I'm still not cut off from the old world. I, I just wanted to share that title and the Ashta and Ishta Om Shanti. Anyone else? Okay. Then let's move on to meditation. Let's sit back comfortably. Hi. This way. situated in the center of the forehead. I am Shiv Shakti. I the soul is an embodiment of eight powers. I, the soul, is an embodiment of the essence. I am a spiritual soldier.
and the soul. It is under the canopy of protection of Baba. Baba's hand of Shulman is in my hand. The Almighty Authority is my companion. I I'm a detached observer. I am alert and ever ready always. I am a victorious soul. I am a powerful state whose backbone is the almighty authority. Thank you, everyone. Om Shanti. Thank you, Sakshi Ben. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.